Hi there, and welcome to Andy Robinson RC, and cheers for checking out this episode today. Okay, uh, also, I haven't done one for ages, and she's with me somewhere around the park, but we've got Evelyn here, and we're going to be doing a bit of an Evelyn's Wheels. Now, I picked up this brand new Buzzsaw Extreme by FTX, and I picked this up from uh, my local uh, hobby store, which is Inside Line Models on the File Coast. I'll link to the description in the video so you can check out their contact details. Okay, so we've got this truck, get what well, tr I say trail truck tank, remember you call it, because um, I missed out on the first buzz saw, and then I noticed this on my last visit to Inside Light Models, and I thought, ooh, that looks fun. I thought Evelyn might like to try it. Now, just go down. Okay, so this is the extreme version. So what they've done to this one is they have put a water tank in the back so you've got a working exhaust which we'll show you Evelyn will demonstrate that in a minute you've got the front LEDs on the bumper and on like the roof uh, spotlights there okay and you've got all metal panels on the bodywork which is cool now if you just scroll over to the box it's uh, it's got a working exhaust as I've just mentioned 2.4 gig radio system and it's a 112 scale vehicle and so it's got the metal body panels okay and there it's got a planetary gear double motor wave box mm, excuse me a double motor wave box bilateral independent suspension 360 um, rotation on the track so it'll spin left and right and it's got metal wheel guide brackets as well so top of the box there you can see more info which I've basically just explained to you then it's got the shock absorbers planet gear wheels motors and the yeah, the wave box uh, gearbox and of course it says the metal panels there and the uh, super power tank capable of 30 degree climbing angle okay now so in a minute we're gonna get this running now Evelyn's here so would you like to show them how the um, the water you fill up the water tank on this? Yeah. You take off this. Yeah. So there's a little cap there. Yeah. And you have your bottle. Let's have a look. Okay. How much water do you have to put in that? Two hundred. Is that two hundred mil? Is it? Yeah. Okay. And then what do you do? Let's show us what you do. You don't squeeze it. Okay. You so let it drop in. Okay. Now we've already put water in this already and Evelyn was just showing you how to add the water in, weren't you? Uh -huh. Okay, you want to put the cap back on? You must put the cap back on if you don't want to lose any water. Now the cool thing is, let's show everyone how you get the exhaust working. Okay. Now put that there. Now on the remote, so the car's on. Okay. Now, I think it's still on, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, let me just turn it a minute. Yeah. Okay. So on the remote, you've got your on and off switch there, haven't you? That turns yeah. the car on and off. And you've also got the on switch to show you there, right under the chassis. You can just about see it there. Now, to get the exhaust on, what do you have to press on the remote? You click this button here. All right, so you click that one on the uh, transmitter. And you can see the light. Oh, yeah. And, and uh, oh, yeah, look at that, it's ace. And, and you the can, water from that goes out into here. Uh, yeah, and it causes it like creates a, like a fine water mist, and it makes it look like these uh, exhaust smoke, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That's ace, right? So now that you've seen the truck, I think we should get this going. Mm -hmm. Are you going to drive it and see what you make of it? So you put yeah. it down on the ground, right? And uh, we're going to head over to that hill as well, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> gotta try and keep up with you, Evelyn. So there we go, and off it goes. Yeah, oh, it does. It's got a lot of torque, hasn't it? Can it go up the hill? Oh, don't worry about that. Right, go on then. Let's watch it go. Woohoo! Okay. So bring it back up the hill. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> right, can you, are you going to make it go down the hill? Let's go. Yeah. I'm going to put it down 
Oh, I can see the exhaust. Look at that, yeah. See how steep that is. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's ace. Nice. Yeah, I did sort of uh, forget to mention actually. This is completely ready to run out the box. Literally, you need three double A batteries for the uh, control box, the handset, and uh, the vehicle just take goes inside and underneath the vehicle. You get a 1200 milliamp, um, 7 point volt, 7.4 volt uh, lithium ion battery pack, and so that's what it runs off. And you get a USB charger as well. Okay, but it is literally 99% ready to run. Okay, go on then. But you have to charge the battery. Yeah, it took about three hours to charge, didn't it? And I died of boredom. Did you? You died of boredom waiting for it, did you? You just want to get out and use it. Right, I think we should go up the hill again and we should go over that way. I think we should go up the hill and go over that way. <laughs> that wasn't quite up the hill. Oh, are you going? Are you going? Go on then. Yeah, I'm going to quickly. Pass. That's not dr driving it, is uh -huh. it? Ready? This is really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that way. Is it, what's it like to drive? Is it easy to control? Yeah. Yeah? Right, I do apologise for the noise. The truck, the, the, uh, the bus saw is quite noisy, but it's also really windy out today, isn't it? So, that's cool. Hey, that is ace. I think, uh, do you want to make it go over there? Let's go over there where it's a bit lumpy bumpy. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Let's all go that way. Alright, go on then. <laughs> oh, that is ace. So it goes over stuff easy enough, doesn't it? Right, now, can you get it up the hill, there, the steep bit, all the way up dead fast, as fast as it'll go? Try. Go on then. Ready? Go on, go. Hey! <laughs> go on then. <laughs> oh, I think it is it? Oh, is it struggling to turn on the uh, grass there? Right, go on then. Maybe the battery's dying a little bit. I don't know. Not sure how long the battery actually lasts. Oh, it's all right now. I mean, I'm sure if you go through really thick grass, then maybe the tanks will, uh, the tracks will jam up a bit. But it seems all right, doesn't it? You mean like all that? Yeah, like our back garden. It's still not that empty. Oh, good. Well, it means it'll last look. for ages. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, look, as Evelyn says, there's loads of water. Oh, in. it's a water bubble. Yeah, maybe. But it looks like the water will last quite a bit in the tank, won't it? Where are we going now with it? Okay. <laughs> nearly. Oh, nearly gone. Try again. <laughs> it's there. It's hiding from you. No, nah, it's following me. Ah, I'm losing it. <laughs> I haven't even got it on film. Oh, it failed. It failed. Quick. Oh look, that's good. It fell over in the uh, the water top. T top of the tank didn't fall off. Um, that's good. I think it ate some grass. Oh, never mind. Right, let's give it one more blast and then bring it back. Lego person in the seat. Oh, you might be able to get a person in there, yeah. Two. Mm. Right, give it one more blast and then we'll bring it back. 
and then we'll see what we think of it. Oh, oh, yeah, oh nearly. I'd rather not hit it off the top of there. No, nearly. Go on, go on. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not gone. Too steep. Yeah. I'll give it a head start. <laughs> Worse than last time. Right, let's pick it up a minute. Right. Are oh, you taking it back to the bench here? Right, I'll tell you what, pick it up, put it on the bench for us. Right, okay. So, I, let's just... Turn off there? No, just put it on the box there. Right, okay, so stay there. Right, so then, what did you think to the, the bus saw? Is it a thumbs up from Evelyn? And there's dirt on it. Oh, well that's what happens when you use it. Do you um, <laughs> So, uh, watch you don't knock the remote. Let's see, um, so, what would you give it out of 10? 10 out of 10? And why do you give it 10 out of 10? What did you like about it the most? The exhaust. You like the exhaust. Uh, anything Put else? water in this. Yeah. And probably going to stick in Lego people. <laughs> and what else did you like? What else did you like about it? That's it, is it? The fact that you can put water in and it's got an exhaust. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, that's Evelyn's verdict on it. So it's all good if you can put water in and it's got an exhaust. It's brilliant. Right, okay. Um, I think for £75, with, uh, I say, yeah, £75, and completely ready to run. Uh, although it's not waterproof, it will go through about 5 centimetres of water. Uh, you can take it out to the park and you can have a good old thrash around with it and uh, providing you don't go over like ridiculously steep objects it will get over most things like I think like under the seesaw yeah like under the seesaw right well, so Evelyn gave, gave it 10 out of 10 machine. I think it's great value for the money make a good uh, present uh, for the kids as well so yeah, I really like that. Now I'm actually going to finish this video here and I'm going to go and have a drive of it now. So Evelyn's done more driving of it than I have. So, um, maybe. Right, Evelyn. So uh, cheers for checking this video out on the channel. Much appreciated as always. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and uh, liking the uh, channel. Also, come find us on Instagram under Andy Robinson uh, RC. You can find us on Facebook as well. Right, Evelyn, uh, it's bye from me. You can say bye. Bye. And we'll see you all soon on the next video. Look after yourselves and bye. take care. Bye.